Hey everybody, Jay here from Modern Mississauga, and we are with the all-new, totally redesigned from the inside out, from the ground up, top down, RDX crossover from Acura. And right up front, the first thing you'll notice is that beautiful, beautiful grill that's made their way through almost the rest of their machines. I don't think the ILX has it, but the MDX has it, the TLX has it, and it's just gorgeous. They've got the beautiful jewel headlights, and there are seven of them. So for your regular lights, sorry, that's a little bright. So it's the uh, one, two, three, four high beams down here and your fog lights come in threes and they're all LEDs. The turret symbols are LEDs, your day runners are LEDs and you can see that little flashing strip right there. Also turret signals, LEDs as well. And just that grill is just, it's intimidating. It's beautiful, it's, it's flashy, it's great. I love it. Love what they've done with the front end. As we go off to the side, this is the specific A-spec trim. So you get the 20 inch wheels. I believe them, they call it shark gray as far as the color, but they look gorgeous and just a nice little bit of black right right there. Um, the profile of the RDX is just, it's beautiful. It's sleek, it's it's modern, and it's just, it's it's very luxurious as far as I'm concerned. Uh, there's some A-spec badging right there and a couple of other spots as well. So there are your integrated turret singles in mirror, or the uh, side mirror, sorry. And as we go around, let's back up a touch. It just casts such a beautiful profile. As we go around to the rear, you get your dual pay, uh, tailpipes right there. And you'll notice the lights are very similar to the Honda Odyssey, uh, kind of that like C-ish kind of shape. Uh, there's a good look at it right there. I think it looks really, really sharp as well. Uh, and there's your, uh, there's your trunk. So big uh, RDX badging. We'll open up the inside, uh, take a look at the trunk a little later on. Um, but yeah, just the outside of the car looks absolutely gorgeous. Nice, sleek design, just enough creases. And there's a, not sure if you can see it, but there's kind of like that sloping line that goes from the front door and just slides up, just giving it a nice fluid design. Um, just well done on the, uh, the exterior of the 2019 uh, RDX from Acura. And we'll wrap it up just with another good look at the front. Uh, as far as bookending things, one other quick thing before we uh, switch gears. Um, that same C-shape pattern as you see in the rear lights is also evident up front. So nice consistency and design there. Okay, we'll be right back with the inside look at the 2019 all-new RDX from Acura. Okay, we're back with the inside look at the all-new 2019 RDX. Let's take a look in the rear. One touch button opens it. You can also do it from your key fob as well. So I put a couple of things in here, a couple of boxes, uh, camping chair, uh, just to show you kind of what your storage space is like. And what the smart thing Acura has done here storage wise is instead of making this full panel front to back uh, movable, they've only done it for half of it. And you can see the crease a little bit right there. So there's a little handle there and that's kind of where you see the crease. So it's about halfway and you get a little more storage. So it's 881 liters as it sits now, a little bit of storage there as well. And we're gonna put the seats down and smartly Acura has made it here instead of reaching up here, which is just, it's user friendly. So you pull that, down goes that half. And then equally on the right side, also on his passenger side, you pull that and down that goes. And now you've got a whopping 2,260 liters of cargo space, tons of room for whatever it is you need, whether it's sports gear, music gear, groceries, uh, furniture, you know, you could be a temporary hero on moving day. So let's push that button, close it up. Let's take a look at the rear seats. So now they're down, but they're fairly light. So one handed and they go up. So there's this cool pattern on the, on the A spec uh, and you get that as well. And you can also pull the seats down from here. Uh, there's still the conventional method. If you're in the rear seats and you want to pull them down for whatever reason, good on both sides. Beautiful speaker here, there. Cool thing here is there are speakers in the roof. So there's one and pretty much one, two there, three there and four uh, right there. It's part of their 3D surround system. Sorry, surround system, surround sound system. 3D surround sound system. Uh, sorry, it sounds it, it sounds fantastic, but we'll get more into that in a sec. A uh, little bit of storage behind the seats, and it's nice because it's not hard plastic, but it's not too flimsy. So uh, very, very nice. There are a couple of USB ports and your vents back there. The A-Spec does not have heated rear seats. Uh, the top trim does, but you know what? Wear some long johns, you'll be fine. And let's not think about winter because it's the middle of summer. So there's a look at another one of the speakers. Uh, it's the ELS Studio 3D. Uh, standard stuff there, very, very cool. Uh, one thing I like, and it's hard to portray through a video, but 
when you push the bot the window buttons up, it's actually soft. Like that's kind of surprising. I've never been in a car that's had it, such a soft feel to open up the windows. So full marks to Acura for that. Uh, let's take a look. It's gonna get a little hot in here. Let's put the air on. So here's the steering wheel. Look at my feet out of the way uh, for the A spec. And obviously you can tell there's a bit of an A spec badging, but the wheel is softer. Like, and it's just a little extra padding on the leather side, and it's very, very, uh, very. It's very comfortable. Um, that's that. So start stop button is there. So right now, start the car up, and we get out of the glare. Put the air on. It's a little, little hot side for July the seventh, I believe. So nice and easy. And that's a good segue into this part. So the HVAC controls are hard touch buttons. And very, very nice. 10.2 inch screen is here. And it's not a touch screen. It is not a touch screen. Instead, you have uh, this little track pad, mouse pad. It's what Acura brands as the true touch pad interface. And f completely honest, I didn't like it when I first got the car in the first couple of days. I just... I just I didn't like it. I would have rather had something like a BMW iDrive where there's like an actual dial to turn or something more as weird as it sounds more touchy feely with that. But you know, I got used to it. And the cool thing is, so I don't know if I can get both in the same shot. Anyway, so I'm just gonna rest my finger over the bottom left. And you know what? It's a little bright in here. So I'm just gonna spin the car around and get into the shade. That's much better. Oh, sorry. Before we let's do the gear shift. So standard Acura stuff. I don't really like it. I want, um, I want a lover or something. But I get why they did it. It's part of their design language. Anyway, so I'm gonna rest my finger on the bottom left here, and automatically the bottom left uh, radio station highlights. I move my finger over to the bottom right. That one lights up. Top right, and then, you know you're not pushing down, right? You can push down, but you just rest your finger on top of it. It's so intuitive, and then you kind of just move around. And the smart thing Acura did is they've made it so you don't have to drag your finger anywhere, right? So um, you just kind of move your finger to wherever it is you want to be highlighted for whatever selection you have, and it just goes. So it's not like I've got to go down here, or if I'm here, I don't have to lift my finger off and then go back again. It's all very, very intuitive, very, very smart. <clears throat> and I had a hard time figuring out how to get to the different screen because you can see there are three screens here for the three little dots um but through default you just lightly go over and you swipe left and swipe left and swipe right and swipe right and that's so good and great and smart and you know yes i'm only driving the car for a week but if you're buying the car or leasing the car you're going to drive the car for an extended period of time you will get used to this it is so intuitive once you actually get it and i'm happy that i didn't kind of just give up on it and go for the manual tuning options which are here so that's good, that's great, that's smart. There's a home button, and that gets you your main uh, options there. And there's a back button, very smart. So this side one controls what's on the secondary screen. And it's your radio, or map, or clock. So full marks there, great intuitive screen. Uh, I apologize, Acura, I had some doubts, but you've proven me wrong. So 10 inch, 10 .2 inch screen, hard button HVAC controls. Thank you so much for putting a volume knob in here. That's all I'm going to say about that. A spec model heated seats and cool seats, front two seats. Here are your driving modes. Um, so you have one, two, three, four, sorry. Uh, so you have your snow, oh, snow, comfort, sport, sport plus. Depending, depending, depending on what kind of driving mood you're in, that's how you set it. And it just, it's a, it's a nice flowing design. Let me back up a touch so we can get a full look at it. Screen, buttons, dials, more buttons. Um, just, it's, it's nice. This anchors it really, really nicely. And of course, the pad is here. So in true Honda sense, uh, because they're so damn smart at taking care of the driver and the front passenger. <clears throat> here is what we have. We have two cup holders and some storage, right? You're like, hey, Jay, you're kind of being weird. Don't really know what the big deal is. I'll tell you what the big deal is. You can close it. And you're like, ah, oh, Jay, you know what? That's that's good, but uh, don't all modern cars have something where you can put some privacy or just open it, close it, open it, close it? I say, yes, that's absolutely right. This part is for your elbow, obviously, and it lifts up. 
so you can put your wallet, a couple of packs of gum, and whatever else you want in here. Smart thing, because my arm sits here, and I can reach here perfectly. Just that's the way my body is made, but not everyone's made like me with the same arm length. Honda has made it, sorry, Acura Honda, sorry. Uh, this is adjustable so that if you have a shorter forearm, you can rest your the, that part of your hand or your wrist or whatever it is, it's completely customizable for you. You know, unless you have massive, huge arms beyond belief, um, then you might have to back up a little bit. But I love the fact that it's uh, customizable forwards and backwards like that. And you have that and you have that very, very well done on that side. Uh, you can actually knock off the automatic start stop, which is great. Um, and I'll get into this in the driving course, but I just want to say that when you come to a stop, you push your foot down and the brakes are a little spongy again. I'll get to that also in the driving portion. But there's a little notice that comes up. I wonder if I put it in drive now. Uh, no, you gotta be moving. Anyway, so you put your foot down on the brake normally, and then there's a little uh, button, that, uh, screen that comes up that says to activate the automatic start stop, push your brake pedal down all the way. So in a way, you don't even really need to put that on or, or off for that matter. It just kind of intuitively knows. So I love the overall design here. And again, not a big fan of this, but overall the center console of the 2019 RDX is beautiful, wonderful. Got a ton of storage space down here as well as a couple more charging ports. Uh, power outlet for your 12 volt. Here are here's your parking brake. Uh, they just ran out of space uh, in the center console, so it's here. Uh, some activations and deactivation buttons as well. Memory seats for two in case you're sharing the car. Here's the dashboard, and it's just it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's simple. It's 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 very very luxury. You can obviously uh, change whatever it is you want around there. Uh, to pull out piece, different pieces of information. But just the silver dials with the red uh, lettering on top of it. And the red doesn't show up too good on the camera, but uh, it's a nice dark red, and that's where, uh, where your red lines are at. Um, steering wheel. Acura is following this, this diamond pentagon, pentagon grill shape a lot in here. So that's, you know, the left half of the front grill, and there's the right half, and there's a little more of it down there as well. Um, you know, some points up there. Uh, the same thing, that's pretty much the exact shape of the grill. So full marks to them for uh, for running on the Diamond Pentagon uh, train as much as possible. Even here, yes, I know it's a diamond up and down, but if you flip it, you get the points there and there. And there's some nice suede over there. I would be okay just if it was leather or plastic. Um, some nice brushed metal aluminum right there. It gives it a nice luxurious touch. Um, and there again is another you know, throw towards the Diamond Pentagon Grill. Uh, overall, very, very good. I know I've taken a little more time than I wanted to on the interior, but with it being a redesign, this video is going to be a little longer than I thought, which is fine. The headrests move four ways. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. So it goes up. Oh, oops, wrong way. <laughs> so it goes forward and that's better. So forwards, backwards, and obviously up and down. I don't think I can put it down with one hand. Oh, yes, I can. So let's do it again. Up, forwards, backwards, because again, everybody is built just a little differently. Um, I think that wraps up the inside. It's it's, it's very, very well done, very well designed. Um, this is going to be the big uh, talking point, and if you just get used to it, you will have no problem with it, and you'll actually embrace it, I feel, anyways, uh, as far as what my week in the car was like. Um, I showed you the seat. Yeah, there's like a nice little pattern there on the inside for the suede and the leather, and it just looks very, very sharp. Good side bolsters. Uh, sorry, good, yeah, side bolsters. Um, thigh bolsters, eh, There's a good look at it for the angle. It's not too, too high. Uh, you do get the nice white pipe. You can also get red leather seats uh, in here as well. I think only on the A spec uh, as an option. Uh, yep, so we went over the wheel and all that stuff and that stuff. Yep, so we're good. Uh, there's your sunroof. It is a panoramic, massive sunroof. I wonder how fast we could open it. And no, it's, it's already, we're already at 12 minutes. Uh, so, you know, what's another couple of seconds? So it actually extends pretty far to the rear seats. So you're, you know, there's a good look at where the headrests end and where the uh, panoramic sunroof ends. So your rear passengers get a hell of a lot as far as... Uh, 
looking up at the sun or stars or moon or whatever it is. All right, I'm gonna finish this off right now and we'll be right back with the in-car portion. All right, and we are here with the in-car portion of the all-new 2019 Acura RDX. Just a couple of facts and figures before we get going. So it's a 2.0 liter turbo four, 272 horse, 280 pound feet of torque, and it's got that 10 speed automatic transmission. And little less horsepower, a little more torque uh, as opposed to the outgoing model. And really, torque is really what you want to focus on because that gets you from where you are to where you're going. Um, so it's, it's not always a matter of, oh, it's got more horsepower than it did last year. Right? You've got to look at the overall picture. So uh, driving dynamics of the car, it handles really well for a, uh, for a crossover uh, slash SUV. You know, you're not going to be whipping around turns. Um, going as fast as you can, but as far as stability on the road, comfort on the road, uh, and handling goes, it scores very, very well, and Acura's always done that well uh, through their super handling all-wheel drive uh, option, and uh, this is no exception. Uh, so I've racked up about 400 kilometers worth uh, over the week of driving, and it's been really good. You know, it's easy to drive, it's easy to park. Um, the 10-speed automatic transmission a little muddy at times in lower gears. Uh, sometimes it revs it a little high, you know, it goes up to 3,000 uh, before it flips over. And, you know, I'm not overly heavy on the gas pedal. I'm, you know, light to medium light, you know, unless I'm jumping on the highway or something. But for regular city driving, um, I'm fairly light as a, you know, I'm a big fan of that, uh, that saving gas uh, business. Um, so, you know, you do have the paddle shifters. Uh, if you're so inclined and there is your dynamic mode um, where you can go uh, a couple of different ways as well um, The engine's fairly quiet. You, know, you push it down a little harder and you hear the revs come through but that's to be expected of, uh, of any car um, So there's you know as I said that it gets a little muddy at times in lower gears uh, But the moment you keep climbing your gear ladder um, The car does really really well um, and it, uh, it sharpens right up. You know, so right now I've hit three and a half thousand going through gears. Uh, and the 10 speed, you know, you really notice a difference uh, in the higher gears. Uh, for me, anyway, not so much on the lower gears. Um, this, uh, the true touchpad interface is, and as I mentioned before, it was a little weird to get used to because just it's, I like either the dial or having hard touch buttons all the way through the infotainment system. Um, but once I got used to it, it took a couple of days, um, and it turned out to be really, really intuitive. And I like that if I want to touch something on the bottom left of the screen here, I just rest my finger on the bottom left cor uh, corner uh, of the touchpad. I'm not scrolling, I'm not, I'm not missing anything, and Acura is designed it so that um, you don't have to lift your finger off the pad to get wherever it is that you want. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely a very smart, intuitive option, and it's safer too. Um, instead of looking down at your hand and then looking up and then down at your hand and looking up to find out where you're going and what you've missed or anything, um, it's just, it's so intuitive. It's so smart. Uh, I'm still not sure if I like the gear shift buttons. Um, I know it's time. I like the like a lever or, or something or a dial. Um, but you know, this is the way of the future for Acura slash Honda, and that's just how it's going to be, and that's fine. You know, just I'll, I'll get used to it. Um, as far as the seats go, seats are very, very comfortable, heated and cooled on the A spec trim. Uh, and a pretty good bargain for fifty thousand. I think it's fifty thousand two hundred and ninety dollars in total uh, is what the A spec costs you, plus your fees, your PDI, and whatever else. But overall, the car has been great to drive for the week. Uh, the Hunza cargo space, I think it's over 2,200 meters with the rear seats down. Uh, my mileage has come in at 11, so my fuel economy has come in 11.7 uh, liters per 100 kilometers. And I think the car holds, I think it's 68 liters, 68, 69 liters. Uh, premium fuel recommended. Uh, actually, I think it's mandatory, uh, not recommended. Um, and, uh, well, I'll put that in the written portion uh, or the description of the review. Um, so overall, I'm happy with what Acura has done with the RDX. I like the way it looks on the outside. I love the technology. I love that this is easy to get used to, and it's something that is not complicated as with some of their competitors. Um, so overall, the car score is very, very high for me, and I, I really, really like you know, what Acura has done. 
I think it'll sell well. You know, it's got that good look and it's got lots of technology. And it's, you know, for a luxury car, it looks good, feels good, drives really, really well. Um, yeah, so that's it for that. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on the car and I'll do my best to answer them. 